Hey, welcome to the first episode of Breaking Down the Blockchain. Today, I'm going to be diving into the world of NEO and demystifying the first DEX on the NEO blockchain, the Switchio Exchange. So, this exchange is proving its usefulness, and it's safer than any centralized exchange out there, since you have full control over your private keys, which stay in your browser and are never sent elsewhere. But how in the world do you use this darn thing? Because if you're not familiar with decentralized exchanges, it can be quite confusing. So to access the exchange, you'll need a private key, encrypted key, or a JSON file. If you already have one of those, then great, jump to this part of the video. If not, the easiest way to do that would be to download the most recent version of the Neon Wallet. And remember to always get your wallet from the City of Zion GitHub, just to be safe and so you have the most recent version. Once downloaded, double click the Neon icon on your desktop, select Create New Wallet, now you need to enter your passphrase for your wallet. A long passphrase that is memorable is recommended just in case you forget you can still recover the wallet. Once entered identically in both sides, click generate keys. This will take you to a page with all your information that is available to back up and save. You can print all of the details but I recommend writing them down under a secure internet connection if you ever are going to be storing large amounts of crypto such as Neo and gas on that account. So you can also click the save account button. This will save your newly created address onto a local file which will be saved within the Neon wallet for later use. To get the saved accounts JSON file, jump back to your Neon wallet, click on manage Neon settings. You will see your saved wallet's account. Export the wallet recovery file and save it in a folder. So once you have done that, make sure you can log into your wallet and send a test amount of gas to make sure everything with the wallet is working a-okay. Now, let's get that wallet connected to the Switchio Exchange. To access the exchange, type switchio.exchange into your internet browser. This takes you to the home page. With your mouse, click Wallet Login in the top right hand corner. Here you can log in with your JSON file, which you can get from the Neon Wallet if you save the account for later use. You can also use your encrypted key as well as your private key. Once logged in, tokens in your wallet will be reflected under wallet balances if you have any in that wallet. In the top left hand corner, you can select your desired trading pair. For this video, we will be using Gas and Switchio pair. Clicking through will take us to the order book where we can trade and make offers. First, we will go through making offers. One thing, offers are just offers. They are not a buy or sell. Offers are only filled when a taker accepts it. There are two different types of offers, buy and sell. To make an offer to buy, make sure you are on the Buy SWH tab and then key in your offer price and the quantity of tokens under Order Entry. The total amount will be automatically calculated for you. Finally, click Buy SWH. The next screen that will pop up will be the confirmation screen for making a buy offer. There are no transaction fees charged for offer makers. Click place order and your offer will be added to the buy pool. To make an offer to sell, make sure you are on the sell SWH tab and then key in your sell price and the quantity of tokens under order entry. Again, the amount required will be automatically generated for you. Finally, click sell SWH. The next screen that will pop up will be the confirmation screen for making a sell offer. Again, no transaction fees are charged for offer makers. Click place order and it will confirm the sell and it will be added to the sell pool. Let's now move on to trading or the actual buying and selling of tokens. First, let's look at offer taking. Under the order book, there is a sell offer pool, which is recognizable by the red. 
Click on the sell offer you wish to fulfill and order entry will automatically populate with the terms of the sell offer, including the price, quantity, and total. To fulfill the order, you need the total amount to be less than or equal to the amount of tokens you have in your wallet balance. A really nice feature of the Switchio exchange is the slider. This allows you to decide on a percentage of the selected order you wish to fill. Filling up to the max will utilize the specific token's full amount that is available in your wallet balance. In this case, it is gas. Sliding it to 25% will take 25% from your wallet balance, 50% is half, and 75% is 75% of your wallet balance. The next step is to confirm the take offer. After you have the fields of the price, quantity, and total filled to your liking, click Buy SWH, and this will take you to the confirmation screen. You will see your transaction type as a fill, and trading fees will be charged under fees. Trading fees can be used with NEO, GAS, and Switchio. When using Switchio tokens, you get 50% off, and these tokens will be burnt. To sell, the same process will be done, except you will click on the buy offers, which are recognizable by the green. Click on the buy offer you wish to fulfill, and order entry will automatically populate with the terms of the buy offer, including price, quantity, and total. To fulfill the order, you need the total amount to be less than or equal to the amount of tokens you have in your wallet balance. Again, you can use the slider to either do max or a percentage of the tokens in your wallet balance. Click on Buy SWH and you will be taken to the Confirm screen. Make sure everything is correct and then click Place Order to Confirm. Now, moving on to processing the trade. Tokens required for your placed order, either buy or sell, will be moved from your wallet balance to the contract balance in preparation to make or fill the trade. These tokens are used for the trade where it will be extracted and shown under your transactions, which is under the price charts. Once your transaction has been confirmed on the blockchain, you will then come across either one of these five different order statuses. Number one is filling. This means that your order made is waiting to be filled by other traders. You can still cancel this order at this point. To cancel the order, go to your transactions, scroll all the way to the right, and find the red X by your order. Press that red X, and it will officially cancel the order. Number two is filled. This means your order is made successfully filled. Tokens are on their way. Number three is success. This means your trade is fully successful and the tokens you bought or sold will be reflected under the contract balance. Number four is failed. This means that the trade is unsuccessful. Tokens used to make this trade will be returned back to the contract balance. And number five, canceled. This means that the cancellation of the trade is successful. Tokens used will again be returned back to the contract balance. The final step is withdrawing from the contract balance. After making a successful trade or canceling an order, you will need to get those tokens into your wallet balance. To do this, just simply click withdraw and those tokens will be sent to your wallet balance. A note that withdrawing tokens can take some time, so definitely be patient. Another note, NEO can only be taken out in whole numbers since NEO is not divisible. That is why I recommend trading with gas since it is divisible. So. I hope that this tutorial was useful for you NEO and GAS holders out there. And if you have any more questions regarding the exchange, make sure to drop a comment. I'll make sure to answer all of those questions to the best of my ability. Happy trading, everyone. Cheers.